process of writing and running SQL queries doesn't always follow a straight line. A particular query can be in constant iteration while you use it to explore and clean up your data or as you fine tune it to optimize its performance. In today's episode, we highlight the ways to save and share queries in BigQuery to help you navigate these bins in the road. So you ran a query last Friday for your colleague and sent them the results. All done, right? Wrong. It's Monday morning and now there's another request for additional data fields on the same query. The new request requires you to join data from another table, adjoin what you actually did in a separate query a few weeks ago, but you can't quite remember how you did it. Do you really want to write a new SQL query from scratch? No! I mean, it's great practice, but it's not always the most practical. Luckily, BigQuery has features built in that allow you to view your query history, proactively save specific queries, and share queries with others. Let's take a look at each of these features a bit further. Your first line of defense for revisiting past queries in BigQuery is your query history. This feature is automatic and includes the text of all queries you have run. You can view your query history in the console by selecting Query History in the top left-hand nav, click on a specific query and you'll see the text of the query and be able to open it in the editor so you can modify and rerun it. Just note, this history is limited to 1,000 queries and looks back up to six months. Going a step further, you can decide to proactively name and save a specific query. Just enter the query, valid or not, in the editor. Then click Save Query, located just to the right of the Run button. Give the query a name, and then click Save. You can find a list of your saved queries in the left-hand nav. Similar to the functionality in your query history, you can now click to open the query in the editor, modify it, and run it. If you want to share one of your queries with a colleague, you can create shared queries. You can create a shared query by first saving a query, turning on link sharing, and then sharing the unique URL. A shared query provides the query text only. So users that open your shared query will still need to have appropriate access to the tables referenced in the query to be able to run it. For more information on how to share access to data sets using Identity and Access Management, or IAM, watch our last episode, Managing Access with Cloud IAM, linked in the description below. Other users will be restricted from editing your personal saved queries. If you're looking to make saved queries editable by your team members, you'll need to change the saved query visibility to project, and then grant your team members the permissions to get, list, and update saved queries in your project. So now that you have the text of the query covered, what about the query results? Just as BigQuery automatically saves your query history, it also, by default, caches the results of your successfully run queries in temporary tables. These tables expire after 24 hours, and within this time, you can browse the results through your query history. Just select the query and scroll to find a link to the temporary table. Here you can preview the data and also export the full table to cloud storage. If you rerun the query, BigQuery will use the cached results if it can, meaning if you are still within the 24-hour period and the underlying data has not had any changes. By using cached results, you won't incur any query costs. Temporary tables are available only to the specific user that runs the query. So if you're looking to share the query results, you should consider saving them to a permanent table. You can make the switch from saving in a temporary table to a permanent table by opening the query settings and setting a destination table for the results. Click Run, and after the query is complete, you will see the new table in the left-hand nav. You can then use IAM to share the destination dataset or table with your collaborators. It's important to note, permanent tables will incur storage costs, while temporary tables do not. Another method for sharing results is to use the option to save them immediately after running your query. Click the Save Results button and choose between several options for saving results, locally, in Google Drive, or directly to a Google Sheet. We've now reviewed how to save and share query text and query results, but there's one more tool to cover, which is called Views. A view is a virtual table defined by a query. A view can be queried just like you query a table. Views are listed next to tables in a dataset denoted with a different icon. When running a query that references a view, BigQuery will also run the query that defines that view. So why would views be helpful? 
Views can help hide the complexity of data by allowing you to join multiple tables into a single virtual table ready to query. Views can be a good alternative to sharing query text because then you can take advantage of the finer grain controls available in Cloud IAM to share the view and the underlying tables. Views do not require storage. Since they're virtual tables, there's not a storage cost associated with them. To create a view, write the query that defines the view in the query editor, and then click Save View. Choose the project and dataset where you'd like the view to live, and then give the view a name. Click Save. The view will populate under the destination dataset and can be queried just like you query a table. Now that you know how to save and share queries, it's time for you to try. If you haven't created your BigQuery sandbox, do so by following the link below. Once you're in the console, click Add Data, Explore Public Datasets, and then pick out your favorite one. Write a query and share it with a friend, and in the comments below if you like. If you want to learn more about BigQuery, check out the rest of our playlist, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube for other great content. Look out for our next episode of BigQuery Spotlight, and remember, stay curious. Oh,